Uh, well, I saw them out here for 600, and this one was like most I saw was for 12. Really, that high? Yeah, was I wasn't expecting that. I was thinking like three, four hundred dollars. See, so I'm actually finding quite a few of them. I guess they're yeah. not that rare. Okay. So, like he said, the most money is in this little guy. This yeah. would be 30 bucks, and then everything else here, 50 bucks. Hey guys, Pete over here. So we're gonna start today's video a little bit different. I got Honey and Ruby here. And both Honey and Ruby are saying hello to Brooklyn. Brooklyn from New Zealand. Brooklyn, listen, your uncle, Steven, reached out, said that you really enjoy these two on my videos. So here they are. This is Ruby. And uh, Ruby is saying hi. Say hi to Brooklyn right there. Don't say hi to me, say hi over there. Yeah, right there. Uh-huh. And that's Honey. Honey is four and a half years old and Ruby is now 48 years old. So Brooklyn, thank you so much for watching the videos. I really appreciate you and I hope you have a wonderful holiday and Merry Christmas to you. Let's get into today's video. Pretty sure that's it's either a leek, L E E K or onion. So how long you had these? Um, Do you have any idea? No, I don't because I if got them from my aunt. Straight up for she went to I don't know where she got them. I believe she went to Russia at one time. I'm trying to think when they stop naming things from USSR. USSR. Yeah. I think it was probably after the Berlin Wall went down, mm -hmm. right? So I'm thinking right eighty nine. So they're at least that old, you know? Sure. I uh, wonder what kind of alcohol was in them. I think vodka, being Russian. Well, uh, I yeah. mean, <laughs> right. this one I see has a little nick. Okay. How many of them we got? Just two, just two. Just two? Yeah. The heads are a little bit glued down so they didn't. Okay, I, I see, so I, they don't come off. Yeah, okay. and I didn't want them to uh, fall off and chip or break. Yeah, both of them have that, you know, made in U USSR. Right. And then there's some kind of logo here. And they're cool. They're definitely different. Yeah. I never seen one before. Okay. I mean, you know. Oh, there's the there's the boss right here. Hello, boss. Hi. How are you? Good. How are you doing? Good. Good. So they're they're originally not yours. Not yours. Yeah. Your end. Right. Okay. 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 So she was the one that actually traveled physically? I think so. She went to Russia hmm. and she traveled. She worked for um, Meg's, you, Mr. Meg's, Meg's Field. Well, I don't know if you remember, in Chicago where they had the airport. Yeah, airports. yeah, yeah. She yeah. worked for him and she worked oh, for the oh, Tribune. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. See, so I'm actually oh, finding quite a few here. of them. I guess they're yeah. not that rare. Okay. I would Let's see if anything uh, actually blue. sold. Yeah. There's quite a few for sale, but there's also... Do, uh, like a dab wow, of, this one uh, actually only sold for 99 cents at auction. That's crazy. Oh, I think it's yeah. Look at that. yeah, it's got a sticker up front, yeah. but let me, let me see what's available for sale. So here's one right here. Somebody's selling for, for 39 bucks. Right. Here's another one for 40. Thing in the stomach there. So that's probably what they originally came showing actually what it was and it's in russian i can see oh, here see. see so it's probably the label that was the label on it and you know right, whoever so you know your aunt probably cleaned it off to make sure. them to make more, them look more presentable good. exactly display them aksatara i don't even vodka oh, you're right it well it doesn't say vodka it says vodka <laughs> <laughs> i don't know why <laughs> um yeah she's uh she's african gray her name is Miss Walters. She talks a lot, although she talks only when it's kind of quiet here. When there's some people here, she's just kind of chilling there. Yeah, so she's listening to. She's listening. Say some words later. So I, they're not big money, you know. Yeah, no, I didn't expect to. Uh, and the uh, same, yeah, same company, A B three, whatever the same thing that it says here, the A whatever the sign and three. Yeah. Um, I tell you what, I I think I'm gonna pass on him. Really? 
Yeah, I think so. Okay. If this one didn't have that little chip here on on a food, sure. maybe as a pair, you know. Mm. But hey. there's quite a few of them available, and look, as low as as like fifteen dollars. Yeah, somebody's yeah. asking for sure. this one, so there's not big money here. No, I know. And when I look at the solds, only one sold on an auction for ninety nine okay. cents. So. All right, that's okay. Right. We'll use it for Christmas displays, like we have been before. Yeah, I'm yeah. sorry, guys. No, no, that's okay. You know, but they're yeah. very cool. Thanks yeah, for no, bringing them in and showing them to sure. me. Sure, it's interesting. It's like the USSR, the Russia thing. I thought it right. was kind of because of the Berlin Wall, like you mentioned. And yeah, nice. there's uh, for sure some history here, but yeah. you know, that's sometimes okay. doesn't mean it's worth big money, you know. No. But right, so you know, really, you know, a coin that might have Caligula on it or something yeah. might be worth yeah. something. All right, so you had, um, what do you have? Some so I have an Elvis bracelet that my my sister was collecting Elvis things her whole life. Okay, so she's passed. So I, these are a few things that I have left of her. So I thought, you know what? He said he was coming here. I said I would come and check it out. And That's then, a really blinky, blinky bracelet. Yeah. Well, <laughs> and it's got all different Elvises hanging on it. That's, that's pretty cool. Right. That's an Elvis thing. Then she had all of these Elvis coins. There's a lots of Elvis collectors out there, right? He, mm -hmm. he has such a huge following, you know? Although, like, for example, vinyl records, they kind of fell off a little bit because the market is so saturated with that stuff. Yeah. And every possible thing that they could make with Elvis, oh, you know, sure, they yeah. kind of made it, right? Right, right? King of rock and roll, if they can produce stuff, they will they will make it, you know, with his face on it. Yeah. So, so I had these coins before, like these. Did? These are the Elvis 40th anniversary coins, and they're actually Kennedy. Right, these are half, half dollars. dollars, yeah, Kennedy. So it's kind of like you can't really spend them either. So that for 30, so that for 40 or 50. All right, all right, one more time. So I'm gonna blame Ryan because he priced those up. This at least fifteen bucks. Go goes. Yeah. Plus, I should buy that myself for five bucks. But I'm, I'm just telling. Okay. And then we got who's this one? Midnight oil. Midnight oil. Yeah. Uh, you think I can get more than twenty bucks for this? Thirty or forty. You think so? This forty or fifty. Definitely. And these are all in good condition because I looked at them. These I are good records. I should buy that for five bucks. I'll sell it to you. I mean, it's thank you for letting me know. Thank you for looking out. You're a good guy. Five bucks, it's yours. My loss, your gain. No, no. I already got it. You already got it. <laughs> okay. So, all right. This awesome. is great condition. You even got the yeah. You even got the uh, no the other way. The, the other way. Rip too. The other way. I always put them in like that, but. Just thought I'd give you the word, that's all. No, I appreciate that's it. What looking for. Anything else you found in there that you want, that you can live without? No? no I had some of that I couldn't live without. Well, awesome. We'll I change. Got all that too. We'll change the price of these really quick. Sex pistols. I'm not into sex pistols. Yeah, you got to be really a fan, you know? Not everybody likes them, so. But they were big back in the day, you know? They were huge. And those records are worth a lot of money. So, Then yeah. Flash, Ramones. Yeah. What's going on? What's the story with these? Uh, Little House on a Prairie yeah. original. Yeah, it's from the. Let's see, it says I should say on it here too. 1978. Yeah. That's the thermos for it. Yeah, this is from 1974. Hello. Adams family. Yeah. 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 Excuse me, sir. So. What are you thinking? What do you want to get out of them? Um, you do 100 a pair or 120 a pair? Why so much? Why so much? They're oh, pretty yeah. rough. Huh? Uh, I got some other ones in the car. They're a little bit cleaner, but they still get worth a little bit more. Okay. Yeah, I got Superman and Batman from 1960. So, all right, I'm gonna look this particular year, see what right. we come up on this one, 1974. Hopefully, I'll be uh, nicely surprised over here. Because Adam's family tends not to bring a whole lot of money, you know? Yeah. So somebody was asking 134 here, they took an offer. Here's one that sold for 174, different graphics on it though. 
so this is a little bit different graphics or is the other side there we yeah. go that's the other side then all of a sudden there's 34 85 so it's all about the condition mm -hmm. Right, when it's nice, you know, it's definitely gonna bring a little bit more money. And if it has that thermos, which you do have, that one's pretty clean on the side. I think yours is overall, I mean, decent. Shows a little bit of rust on it. So I'll be honest, like on this, the way it sits in that condition, I wouldn't be, uh, maybe 35 bucks tops on that, you know? I'm thinking maybe I can get on a good day 50, 55 bucks out of it, the way it sits in that mm -hmm. condition, comparing to what's, you know, mm -hmm. what's the market doing. Um, let's see the little house on a prairie. And it's all supply and demand, depends how many are available, you know. Mm -hmm. So look at it again, like it's all about the condition. When it's rough and this one is rough, only $33. Mm -hmm. This one was really nice and somebody was asking 189, they took an offer on that one. Mm -hmm. Here's one for 119, they took an offer. 89. I think this one is actually doing better than the Adams is. So I think at this one, I could probably do about 50 bucks. So between both of these, like 80 bucks. Oh, you can do 100 for, for the pair. That's all I was looking to get out. It's 100 for both. Like you guys get both for 100. I'll meet you in the middle. I'll help you out a little bit. I'll do 90 bucks. I don't want to go higher. I don't. I, especially this. This wasn't bringing a whole lot of money. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So, if you're okay with that, I'll uh, I'll do 90 bucks. Otherwise, I'm yeah, not it's gonna fine. Say. Yeah, I'm not. It's good on the. I don't want to hear about okay. one. So. All right, ask me. Let me have your idea. I'll write you up. But if you would have saw that Superman one, you're probably like, damn. It's bring it in. I would love to check clean. it out. Can you bring it in? I don't want to sell it. Though. Okay, I, but I want to see it. All right. Bring it in. That one's kind of rough. But it's still... it's pretty good condition <coughs> for yeah. four sixties box. Yeah. This been sitting in the dust for a little bit. This been sitting in the woods. It's pretty clean for for that year. Yeah, 1967, so. Yeah. It's clean. This one's kind of rough, though, the Batman. The thermos is decent. Yeah. I had to buy that extra off of the eBay. Because I didn't have it came up for that first. Oh, so you yeah, got this separate? Yeah, okay. that's why yeah, I yeah, 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 yeah. What does this thing, what does this thing bring? Oh, well, I saw them out here for 600 and this one was like, the most I saw was for 12 Really? That high? Yeah, I, was I wasn't expecting that. I was thinking like three, four hundred dollars. Yeah, well, I was surprised that was... Actually, that, this, so this one was 67 Yeah. And the thermos somebody sold here for, they were asking 165 Yeah. Are these repops then? Why is this like only 40 bucks? I don't know, if I conditioning and stuff. That's out of the vents, conditioning. And that, that could be the reason why. That's all enough for going for 12 that other time. Well, let's uh, let's search here by the highest. Mm -hmm. Let's see what's the highest. So yeah, somebody was asking 600 here. They took an offer. This one was for 475. They, they, they all took offers, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Here's one, buy it now, somebody wanted 499 and they put it on auction and went for 300 That's what I was kind of expecting, to mm -hmm. be like around the 300 price yeah. range. And the Batman is what year? It's a 60 something, I think it's the same year. 66. 66, 66 yeah. So one year older than the Superman. I mean the condition is everything, right, on, yeah. on all of this stuff. 239 and keeps going down, so. That's what I was kind of like mm -hmm. gauging that that's what they would bring if they're in good condition. Yeah. Um, you sure you don't want to sell them? Mm -hmm. Keep them. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I get it. They're yeah. cool. And and they only gonna get they only gonna bring more money. Yes, as guys. time goes by. So. That's true. I might got some other ones I can bring in. You guys can look at. Thanks for bringing them in. That was cool to see. Yeah, because no they don't show up very often, you know? So yeah. I got more if I can bring in and show you. 20, 40, 60, 80, 90 bucks on that. Right. I appreciate you. Yeah. And listen, 
I had our little negotiation talk here mm -hmm. on a camera. Are you okay me using this footage for my yeah. YouTube channel? Yeah, it's you cool fine. with that? Yeah. Okay, awesome. Thank you. Yeah. I appreciate you, man. No problem. All right, Merry Christmas. Yeah, you too. Thank you. Actually, very excited to test drive this watch. This is a Seiko that I just purchased from one of you guys, from a viewer, that uh, I'm gonna try to flip it but before I do this is a Seiko spring drive watch with the mechanism 5R65 so it's not an easy flip but before I flip it it has to uh, go on my wrist for a little bit I, I am getting back to watches again I used to love wearing watches and then I went to the phase last two three years that since pandemic I stopped like I wasn't wearing the watch. I got a nice little collection. I'm not a huge fan of Seiko, so let's show this off a little bit here. The mechanism, the spring drive mechanism, they implemented in their higher end Grand Seiko watches, uh, which are a little bit more sought after when it hum, comes to like, you know, expensive watches. So Seiko is a little bit by itself, harder sell, but still not on the less very, very beautiful watch. And this is kind of one of a kind when it came out. So test driving for a couple of weeks and then probably beginning of the year, I'll you put it out there. What's gonna happen? What's gonna happen? I'm gonna like it too much? You're, you're gonna test drive it and you're gonna fall in love with it and you're gonna keep it. So, I mean, I actually like how it feels on my hand. I like heavier watches. It's not super big, it's just thick. I don't know if I'm crazy about the blue dial. At the night, when you let's say you're driving in a car and you yeah. take a quick glance at it the it's black a dark background but Greg it's hard to see and these hands on it don't have the fluorescent you know the, the that glow. they will glow so I don't know that's why I'm saying I gotta test drive it so but hey if any of you guys are interested it's available uh, it's an expensive watch probably a couple grand you know, she, she knows that it's, I think, Saturday, and she will hide, because everybody from the first thing that we open the door, they go, you know, oh, sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. And after a while, she's like, <laughs> enough is enough. I'm out. Yeah, yeah. So, so I think Ryan went through some of this stuff. Okay. And I, we we both kind of decided probably no on this, right? Okay. Yeah, like, like I know you said you were curious about, like, the, uh, the sports cars from the yeah. 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 You know, the... I look like, them up, but as much as I like like '85 beers and Jim, Jim McMahon and all that stuff, it just it doesn't move. Okay. Uh, if it's like general 1985 beers, you know, yeah, just him by himself is just uh, okay. okay. So, but this stuff that we put it out here, I think I would be interested in. Okay. It. Uh, I think this banner is from the same era too, uh, because the wording that they use is the bears you know the sketch that they did on saturday night live mm -hmm. the bears. The bears. so so i'm assuming this is probably right after they they win um it, and it's in excellent condition for being almost 40 years old so i definitely like that awesome yeah i can't say where what do you know about that little disney uh i was guessing it's like a disney is this from like a actually... disney cruise ship you know what, we so because of these lines on it? We picked it up at one of your favorite places. <laughs> oh, Goodwill. <laughs> okay. okay. Yeah, so we don't know much about it. But I mean, it's original. It's it's a Disney product. Right. So um, not familiar with the artist here. I'm assuming that they used... You could see that it's sketched over from the original cell, yes. right? Okay. Uh, so I'm assuming that's probably the guy who did him. You know, be back in the day. Mm -hmm. It's cool. Definitely will sell stuff like that sells. You know anything about this though? Michelle. No, nope, we picked it up. So I mean famous, you know, Taylor. This is probably when she was on top of her game looking at this seventies. Scream seventies. I think there's an original receipt in there. Oh it is? Yeah, right there. See we're suckers for older like receipts and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. I think that may have came from a um Pork Brothers. Open every night till 10 p.m. Sunday till 6 p.m. Look at that. That wasn't much off, 1969. Huh? See? <laughs> so somebody paid in, like, put your name here, they put cash. 
That's pretty cool. Seven dollars and thirty-five cents. Johnny Cash. Wow. Seven dollars and thirty-four cents. I mean, it's just the costume jewelry, right? I mean, it's associated with Taylor. Oh. It's cool. Is it worth something? Yeah, the, the original receipt, the original <laughs> box. <clears throat> That's the cool stuff. Yeah, good salesman. Good I, well, <laughs> I, I enjoy things, and I also enjoy speaking to others. Uh, as cool, as much as cool this is, I think I'm actually going to say no on, on Taylor. Okay. My, my mom used to love her. Um, iconic 1996 Chicago Bulls original head, great condition. I don't think it was ever worn. Still got the tags. So I'm all over that. Okay. I, I like that. Um, we can do it. Porcelain sign, a repop, probably from late 80s, early 90s, made by Rooney. Not huge money, but I like stuff like this. Like you just saw me took a bunch of signs. Yes. I mean, the signs go all all the time. So, yes. and then we got the robot. <coughs> um, That's probably the single most expensive piece really? that I think we picked. Oh, okay. Wow. I was thinking about offering like thirty on that guy there. I'm surprised. Um, I'm really surprised. Yeah. Actually, this was sold on Amazon at one point. So yeah, anything anything with uh, with transformers or these, you know. Repops mm -hmm. for for from Japan will bring good money. Any idea what do you guys want to get out of this? <laughs> How about you make us a <laughs> no deal? Clue. Honestly, we were, we're new to this. Yeah, um, we're open, which is terrible to say. I'm thinking like 80 bucks. So, like he said, the most money is in this little guy. This yeah. would be 30 bucks, and then everything else here 50 bucks. Um, this and this. Cool, but not huge money. Sure. The sign, maybe I'll get 25, 30 bucks out of it. And the head, I'll probably get about 40 bucks out of it. So, again, more money here. It, this is cool because it fits the shop decor, you know? Right, so, yes. Would that work? I, I, well, this is the boss. She's the boss. I made my offer. We, did, we you can count her. We did a couple of tools already coming here. Um, well, you gotta be one of those guys. Oh, no, 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 absolutely not. No, no. The guess is three bucks again. Yeah, I came a, all the way from Rockford. I wish you came I all the way from Rockford. Yeah. No, it's a pleasure just being there. But uh, uh, I, I would say. <laughs> Very uh, quiet. Uh, would, would, you, would you take. Would you have about $90? Yeah, I'm not gonna argue. <laughs> Thank you, Peter. Pleasure meeting you guys. Thank pleasure you. meeting you. Yeah, cool Thank stuff, you. Though. Very Thank cool you. stuff. Thank you. Thank you. So guys, a lot of you ask lately, how come Ruby is not so much in the videos anymore? And then all of a sudden we started showing Miss Walters. So Ruby has been with us for a very, very long time. But lately she's been extremely hard to deal with, meaning very loud. She is not talking a whole lot again. Look at her. Now, she, now she's entertained. But she squawks a lot, like and really, really loud, and all the time interrupts everybody all the time. So we're going through some changes here. She seems like she's a uh, little bit more, a uh, 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 little bit more happy when she's more in a quiet area. So we are re rearranging things. We're gonna put Ruby in our vintage and antique room that we're gonna separate the whole area. And there we are introducing Miss Walters into here. This is currently a Ryan's bird. This used to be my uh, my daughter's uh, bird. She rescued her, and uh, but she was uh, she's pretty uh, pretty allergic to the bird. So we found a new home. Ryan took her home, and um, she's uh, she's been terrorizing the family a little bit. So we decided we're gonna bring her here in the shop. And now she's gonna be here, part of uh, part of our family over here. So we're gonna put her in a spot of Ruby, and Ruby's gonna go in the back. We still love, you know, Ruby, of course, very, very much. Uh, but I wanna, I wanna give home to both of these. So a little bit rearranging. Uh, we're actually putting a new spot together in the next room that I'll show you guys next. So let's do 40 like this, and then only 30 here. So nobody okay. can reach her no matter what. Yeah. Especially a kid, you know? I mean, yeah. 
the adult can technically I mean it is doable if yeah. you really want it so if we do it the shorter way let's do it the yeah. shorter way so you think we should just put this up here or do you want to put something here so well we're using those cabinets like we talked right we're gonna use them here mm -hmm. to cap it yeah we put the cage right in the center right yeah or or against them or whatever or against yeah. them. Wasn't on there. Look, she's almost done with this. So this was a nice round, like an inch and a half round stick, and it's almost completely chewed through. Why don't so. we why don't we chop it and start fresh? Because yeah, because if you know she chews through, she's going right in the trash here. I have, I still have this back there. Another half. I cut this from one long piece. So yeah, we should replace it before we put it there. Well, I just want to try it out. How it's gonna look? That's far enough from the wall, so she won't eat the drywall. Yeah, <laughs> she likes to go at the drywall too. So I think this side would be ideal as a door. Look. Look at your new place. What do you think? Do you see? She's like, what's happening? <laughs> put her on a put on her on a perch, perch for see if she uh look, who's that pretty bird? Who is that? <laughs> <laughs> Who is that? Who is this? Who is this? You know that bird? <laughs> she's like, oh. who is that? As if she's never seen yeah. it before. Who is that? We definitely gotta fix this within a day or so because she's gonna go through it. But I think this is gonna be perfect. And then you just boom, just like that. Roll this in a corner. Yeah. Keep bulky stuff so we can easily move this around so nothing fragile falls off. Yeah. And I think nobody will get to her. This is everything as far of reach. I mean, there always can be somebody creative, right? Yeah. <laughs> can try to, but I think this is far away that she won't reach that to chew on that wood. What do you think? Or is it too close? No, I think it's good. You know? So yeah, this is, this is the idea that we had uh, from the moment that Ryan decided that I think it's time to bring Miss Walters here. Miss Walters here because she was terrorizing yeah. the family <laughs> a little bit. Because the, the whole reason is because of my son's finger. Yeah. You know, she, she bit a little uh, chunk out of my son's finger. It took a little while to like, stop the bleeding. I thought we had to take him to get stitches. Really bad. Yeah. yeah. She got him really bad. So. But you know, my wife's been bit, but you know, my daughter's been bit, but neither one of them were yeah. as bad as his. So Miss Walters is known as a bird that really likes man right just like ruby yep just like ruby and my daughter could never really handle her always with the stick because mm -hmm. she would always try to get a chunk out of her you know yeah so that's why and plus you know plus being allergic to it with faz and everything it was that's why you came into the picture and you're mm -hmm. like i'm gonna take miss walters and you know and she liked you a lot you yeah. can do anything with her. And My it's daughter was able to pick her up, you know, without a stick and stuff a couple times too, but then it's That's like, scary. she's unpredictable. Yeah, you know? she's scary. So, so now uh, we want to keep them kind of separate. I think Ruby might be a little bit jealous of her. That's why she's even squawking more. So I, we think if we keep Ruby here, plus it will help us run the business. <laughs> Yeah, plus Ruby kind of likes a little bit more privacy up there yeah. so much. So Ruby will be back here and still people going through. That's why we kind of build this kind of horseshoe design here 
to keep pe people out of, out of reach so can nobody can really touch her and then we'll keep Miss Walters up front. Now Miss Walter has unbelievable vocabulary. She yeah. says so many things and the sounds that she makes so you know but not squawking like to the point that we jump. Every time this one does it we jump. So I think this is this is a good setup. And you still here and there are gonna take Miss Miss Walters probably for a weekend, you know, here and there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you know, so your kids can still and yeah, my daughter her. is still very attached to it. Yeah, so. so yeah. No, this is this this was a good idea. I think this is gonna work out great. I like it. And she seems to be entertained quite a yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah, look at her. Look at her go. It may not be a window office, but she, she's we might have to move this a little bit, I think. She might be close enough of reaching that. Yeah, yeah that climb up there, yeah. Yeah, so we'll pull that table another two, three inches and this will work. Miss Walters. Are you happy now? You got your own spot. Look at you, your own new cage. This is your corner now. Are you happy? Yeah, look at you. You're happy. Guys, postcard time. 471, 472, 473, 474, 475, 476, 477, 478, 479, and 480. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you. I'll catch you on the next one. And if I don't, Merry Christmas.